Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3-1 win over Hemel Hempstead in the National League South. How are you feeling after that one, Adam? Um, a bit like mixed emotions really. Obviously delighted um, to finish fourth in the league, uh, get 78 points is is you know, a big achievement for us in our first season. Um, but yeah, getting getting back to the to the game. Um, thought we, we didn't really get going. Like I thought, it was excellent Tuesday. It was excellent Farnborough on the two Tuesdays away from home. Um, and you're hoping to take a bit of momentum and take a bit of focus, bit and take a performance uh, into the, into the last game. And I don't think we really done it. I don't think we was brilliant today. Um, that's not being disrespectful to the opposition. You know, we've just got to judge what I see on on our team. And I think there's there's better to come and better performances to come. I thought it's only really Mo Dabra first half that kept us down this from the midweek. Um, and that's something that we we got to look at. Um, you know, there's going to be tougher tests to come. Um, again, not being disrespectful, but you know that's just um, what's going to happen, and, we, and we've got to, got to be better. Um, so, yeah, real, real, real pride and honour in the players for finishing fourth and getting to that points tally. But also, like you know, we we set high standards here, and I thought we fell a bit below them today. What do you think was lacking today? Do you think it was we didn't have as many chances as we normally would? It felt like we were a bit more clinical than we usually are. What do you think was missing from the performance today compared to the week? Um, just just that like concentration and focus. I thought I thought um, you know Mo Dabra, Kane, and um, Pax just run all over the opposition. On, on and I know it's a different game and maybe we had a bit more of the ball, but you know. <laughs> I didn't think we was brilliant. I think there's too many performances where we're giving the ball away too cheap. Um, and then, you know, people just doing what they wanted to do at times and not sticking to what we wanted from them. And um, you know, that was a bit disappointing. And to concede just for a half time, you know, it's going to cost you that concentration. And you can't just come in and say, yeah, sorry, that's my man. You've got to do, start learning and doing something about it. And I think the disappointing thing is you're still seeing some naive performances. Um, and I'll say, Braintree are not going to allow you to show any sign of naivety at all and we've got to be at our absolute best uh, to get anything from it and I just thought we was a bit short of that today. Was there anything that you look at from the game that was a positive? Was there anything you were particularly happy with from today? No, obviously scoring three goals, um, you know, at this level it's, it's tough to do so any time you can do that is good. Um, I thought we got into some good areas, I thought David got in behind with a great ball from Harrison, um, but yeah, I don't think we defended our goal off and we limited Chesson to hardly anything. But today there was a couple of half chances. Harrison's come out and took a nasty blow where we've just switched off and not moved our feet. And I say that bit of naivety, you can't afford to show that. You know, I thought we was past all that and we learnt. And today you just go back and we're telling the same players the same stuff, which is is disappointing. But like I say, I don't want <laughs> don't want to be disrespectful to anyone. Um, to the league or anything like that. Um, I'm not, um, you know, giving it the big I am that we finished fourth. And but just, just from my opinion, I thought we were below standards today. And you know, we've we've got to be better. Let's have a look at the overall day to day. Though it's an unbelievable achievement, fourth in the league. I know how high your standards are. Yeah. But fourth in the league in the first season, as you said, it's an incredible achievement. How are you feeling going into Wednesday? It's a huge game for the club, really, and to have a home tie for it as well, with the crowd how it was today as well, I mean, to carry that over into Wednesday could be huge. Oh, yes, yeah, so, um, pleased this Wednesday, gives us a bit of an extra day to recover, um, which is important for us. Um, and yeah, we get to prepare with a, a session Tuesday. Um, but yeah, and obviously, these are the games we want to be part of uh, as a club, like, um, you know, for us to still have. A massive game, um, two massive games um, to look forward to, and we're heading into May. Is 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 brilliant, and you know all the hard work that everyone's put in, um, not just myself, not just the players, everyone at the club behind the scenes to to get the club to where it is. Um, you know, we've really got to relish it, and um, it is is a privilege to have that kind of pressure and to play in these big games. Um, you look back in your career, and these are the ones you want to be part of, and um, so yeah. We've, I just want to try and get that message through to the players to, to go and embrace it and enjoy it because it's a really special occasion and um, yeah if we can get them performing a bit better than today then you know, we can still 
it would be a, a good test. I think we proved with Brenchy come here that we, we were a good test there, and they were a good test for us. It's a good game, it's a tight game, and that's what you're going to get in these playoffs. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got to be better, and um, we'll strive all we can and do all we can to, to make sure we are.